Donna, thank you so much for joining us today. And we look forward to hearing about Shelby's Bridge and what all y'all are doing there. So if you could just go ahead and give us a little bit of background information on Shelby's Bridge, how it got started and what, what your focus is there. Thank you so much, Denise, for this opportunity. We appreciate it so much. Uh, I'm Donna Smith. I'm the administrator at Shelby's Bridge. And at Shelby's Bridge, we train um, adults with disabilities and we try to provide um, paths toward independence by training them in job skills, employment skills, and in life skills. Um, we, uh, our business originated in 2017. We opened a viable business, a gift and thrift shop and a cafe in 2018. And we have continued to grow. We began with just about 17 students um, and uh, 17 of our friends. That's what we call our, the people that we deal with. Those who sometimes are the most marginalized in our area. Um, many uh, over half uh, qualify under the poverty line, live under the poverty line. Um, some have or have not graduated from high school, um, but we, we are an inclusive organization. Everyone has a place at the table at Shelby's Bridge. Everyone has a place there and a place where they will be respected. And while our friends come with all uh, different types of um, abilities and disabilities, we try to meet those all, meet them where they are and help them grow to uh, in an attempt for them to achieve the very best life that, that they can have, that they want. And we do that through educational training, um, through building relationships, uh, through inviting families in, uh, j not just the friends, but we want to be mentors and help to the families as well. Because uh, sometimes it can be a difficult situation when you don't fit exactly into a regular box that society would like for you to be in. Um, sometimes uh, there are some challenges in trying to um, to fit in or trying to be who you are at the best level. So we try to do that. We have seven full-time employees. Uh, four have um, bachelor's degrees or higher in some area that relates to either job training, psychology, special education, um, lower instance disabilities, and then my background is in educational administration. So we feel like we have um, a handle on what we can do, what needs to be done. And uh, as I said, we began in 2017 and this is 2022 and our business has grown as well as the number of friends that we have uh, been able to uh, work with and continue to work with. That includes school districts, but not just school districts. Um, currently the youngest friend that we have uh, on a regular basis at the shop is 13. The oldest friend that we have is 35. Um, and we are willing to go up to whatever age is needed or wanted um, in at Shelby's Bridge. That is so great. And speaking of mentors, uh, the foundation gave a donation um, last December and that was part of, part of it was for building bridges. Can you go ahead and explain a little bit about what that program is gonna be? Yes, and actually what it, what it currently is. Building bridges is building relationships uh, between adults and adults with disabilities and or students. And we try to provide um, mentors who have definite um, specific talents to teach our friends. Because if uh, a friend can have a job makes life, life very much easier for them. They're not always dependent upon someone else. And so those are, those are great steps, many steps that, that go into allowing or helping one of our friends to become employable. But we have identified currently three mentors who work with them three to five days a week um, on definite specific employment skills. Sometimes that's just counting. Sometimes that's retail merchandising, taking pictures, flat lay pictures, that sort of thing. Uh, sometimes it's floral design. Sometimes it's taking care of the flowers before they are designed. But, um, and part of that is culinary as well. So those are the major areas that we have identified. And as we are working with our friends, 
uh, with our mentors, but it's a constant ongoing situation. It's not just a one-time um, training. It's uh, sequential. We try to begin where that friend is with the, um, the abilities that they have and build on that. And it takes more than just one mentor sometimes to get uh, where we need to be with or where we want to be or where our friend wants to be and learn the skills that they want to learn. One of the things that we've been very successful in in beginning our retail merchandising is folding shirts. And we have developed a partnership with some mentors who actually do that for a living. Um, in Muleshoe, we have a partner over there that has a t-shirt wholesale um, business. And she does work with the market in Dallas. So they have literally thousands, thousands of t-shirts that need to be folded, counted, packed, and so forth. That is one way that we have impacted the mathematic skills of some of our friends, but also the detail-oriented piece, the quality pieces that are so necessary in one of our friends becoming employable. So as we pay people to come help us, then they get a bigger pay on the other end when they see our friends able to do the things that make them employable. Bailey and I had the opportunity to go visit um, Shelby's Bridge and we were blown away by the store, by the cafe, by the friends that were there and the work that they were doing. It was just very impressive and I wish everyone would get the opportunity to go by there and see it because it really does make a difference in and what you're doing. You really well, are thank, helping people. Thank you so much. Um, we love what we're doing. And I, even after 42 years in uh, public and private education, this is a joy, one of the biggest joys of my life. And even though I'm kind of at the end of a profession, um, having retired a couple of times from public education, uh, this is a joy because uh, evidence of success is almost immediate. And sometimes in regular education, it's not always that way. Um, but when you see the growth, both uh, in terms of relationships, um, social education, um, as well as employability skills, and them actually being able to put them to use and make money from them, uh, that's, that's a joy. That's a oh, joy yeah. to everyone who works there. We um, have several ways that people can contact us. Uh, our website is www.shelbysbridge.org. Uh, you can email us uh, at shelbysbridge at gmail.com. You can call us at the, at the business, at the shop at 806-227-2233. Or you can contact me um, at area code 214-399-6339. Any of those ways, we are happy to, um, to talk with anyone who's interested in just knowing what we do. I, we don't ask anything of anyone else, um, but if people tell others about us, it's not gonna take too long for someone to need or want our services. And that's what we want. We want everyone who needs or wants to be a part of Shelby's Bridge to be able to do that. And we try to make it easy for that to happen. You can actually also message us on Facebook, another uh, uh, Instagram or Facebook at Shelby's Bridge.